Jaundice is a common medical condition most newborns acquire after birth. It occurs when levels of bilirubin circulating in the bloodstream become too high from the liver not being able to process the compound fast enough during hemolysis. Bilirubin is basically a natural waste of the body's red blood cell recycling system. This yellowish substance is one of the main byproducts that are left over from the continuous breakdown of red blood cells. Unlike other byproducts of hemolysis, bilirubin is not reusable elsewhere in the body. This means that bilirubin left over from the breakdown of red blood cells must be regularly disposed of. Jaundice is one of the most common conditions requiring medical attention in newborns. Doctors are usually not concerned when they deliver a jaundice baby because most of the time the condition is harmless. Data has suggested that 60% of term newborns and 80% of preterm newborns will become clinically jaundiced. 10% of breastfed babies are still jaundiced at one month of age. Jaundice in newborns is usually very easy to identify and diagnose. The first signs of newborn jaundice generally appear within the first 24 hours of life. The hallmark symptom of jaundice includes yellowing of the skin and eyes. Additional symptoms of babies with jaundice may include general fatigue and poor feeding, the baby seems jittery or abnormally cranky, intense crying with an arched back, or high-pitched or abnormal sounding crying. The standard policy in most cases is to monitor the baby's condition to make sure the jaundice is progressing normally without signs of abnormality. Mothers are encouraged to continue breastfeeding to help get rid of jaundice. Other treatments for jaundice may include regularly exposing the baby to direct sunlight, using phototherapy or UV ray light therapy, or in severe cases, a blood transfusion can be administered.